Hello, it's Ian Gordon again, and this is uh, just a continuation. We were discussing in the first part the long wave cycle, and uh, I just showed you that, uh, or explained to you that that cycle was initially discovered by the Russian economist Nikolai Kondratiev. What I'm very proud of is that I've actually taken this cycle since his discovery in, in 1925 and extended it all the way through to the present. And this has enabled me to make uh, some fairly uh, good uh, predictions about how the future, both in the economy and in the financial system, is likely to unfold. Uh, on this chart here, we've got the interest rates down here, and they go all the way back to just about 1800. And then we've got prices, initially the producer price index, and then the consumer, uh, sorry, the commodity price index thereafter. And then we've got uh, US total debt going back to the, uh, about 1920 here in the purple, and then gold here, and we've had to use a gold stock rather than the gold price because we've used home state mining, which was then taken over by Barrick Gold. And uh, we've used home state mining because the price of gold until 1971 was fixed, initially at $20.67 an ounce, and thereafter at 35. And it was only after Nixon closed the gold window in August 1971 that the price of gold was allowed to float. So we've used a gold stock to try to see what happens to gold when it's wrapped around this cycle. And then finally, we look at the uh, stock prices, and here they are, the S&P 500, and they go all the way back to 1789 in the US. So let's uh, have a look at interest rates first, because there's one thing that's uh, very important for us to understand, what happens to interest rates. And you can see the charts here, there's the AAA here, and then the T-bond, the U.S. Uh, bonds here, U.S. government bonds here, and they follow each other pretty closely. But what I want you to notice is that interest rates always peak at the end of summer. You can see that peak occurring here, you can see it occurring here, and you can see that peak occurring here, and even a little bit here, the U.S. Treasury bond peaking at the end of summer. Why do interest rates peak at the end of summer and what's the significance of that? They peak because summer is always the inflationary period in the cycle. And so you have a, a high inflation uh, go ongoing in the summer, so interest rates have to surpass the rate of inflation. But that peak in interest rates is one of the indications that we are now going to go into the autumn of the cycle. And we want to be told when we are going to go into the autumn of the cycle because we know that that period is the biggest uh, speculative period in the cycle in stocks, bonds, and real estate, and principally in stocks. So this big peak in interest rate that always occurs at the end of summer is one of the indications to us that we are going into the autumn big bull market in stocks. Another indication for us is the prices. So we see the exact same thing because I said that summer was the inflationary period, so prices peak at the end of summer. And that peak in prices is a further indication it's just that we are now going into the autumn, the big bull market in stocks. The third indication for us is that, that we're going into the autumn period of the cycle is this bear market that occurs, and this one occurred between 1920 and 21, when the Dow lost 50% of its value, and this bear market here, many of you might remember, between 1981 and 82, when the Dow dropped from just above 1,000 points to 777. So that bear market in stocks is a third indication that we're going to go into autumn. And it always happens at the same time that you have the peak in interest rates and the peak in prices. And the fourth indication to us that we're going into this big autumn bull market is the recession. And again, many of you might remember the 81-82 recession, which at that time was called the biggest recession since the Great Depression. And similarly here between 1920 and 21, 
you have a very, very severe recession. So those four indications, bear market in stocks, a recession, a peak in interest rates, and a peak in prices are all indicators that you are now going into autumn and the biggest bull market in stocks of your lifetime.